welcome back to FIY with Fiona. So today we are going to be making some DIY IKEA hacks. So this is inspired by my trip to Morocco last year. Like who misses traveling right now? I wish I could be in Morocco right now. I'm also wearing my Morocco pants so uh, to get into the boho Moroccan vibe. I don't even know how to floss. That was my best attempt at flossing. It was terrible. I'm sorry you had to see that. When I was in Morocco, I wanted to buy everything in the Medinas. I wish I could have brought everything home, but I couldn't. So I'm remaking these pieces that are inspired by my trip to Morocco and turning these really plain IKEA pieces into a really fun boho vibe piece for your home. I got all of my supplies from Amazon and they're all linked in the description below so you can order it for yourself really easily as well. If you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment below so I know exactly what you guys are enjoying and I can create more content for you guys. All right, enjoy the DIYs. For our first project, we'll be turning IKEA's girly throw blanket into a cozy boho blanket by adding contrasting tassels. All you'll need is a girly throw, a contrasting yarn, a yarn needle, scissors, and a piece of cardboard cut to 5 inches wide that you'll use for your template for the tassels. First, remove the tag from the throw. Then you'll get your yarn and wrap it around the cardboard template 40 times. We want to make a full and chunky tassel. This white yarn has flecks of gray, so it works well with the gray throw color. Cut the yarn, then measure out approximately an 8 inch piece of yarn. Grab your yarn needle, thread the yarn onto the needle, and it might take a bit of finesse, but keep working it through. But once you get it through, thread it through the looped yarn. Then, poke it through one of the corners of the throw. Wrap it through the loops of the yarn again and poke it through the same spot in the throw. And then pull it out and pull it tight. Then tie a knot and that's the first steps of making the tassel. Tuck it in under the loops and then pull it off of the template. You'll get another piece of yarn and wrap it twice around the looped yarn close to the base of where it's sewn to the throw. Then you just tie a knot again. Then start cutting all the loops. Make sure you get all of them and just keep cutting away. When you're done cutting your loops, grab the end of the tassel and give it a trim so it's all even. Trim it like you're trimming your dead ends off your hair. Just trim it until it's all straight at the very bottom. And yes, you have your first tassel done. You'll be repeating these steps five more times, making six tassels in total. Fold your throw in half to find the middle point of the throw. That's where you'll do your second tassel. And then you'll do your third tassel on the very other end. So then you'll do three on one side and then three on another side. So those are your three tassels. Do three more and then you have your finished blanket. Project number two, we'll be using IKEA's Lindrond 13 inch decor piece and adding a boho vibe by simply using yarn. Take it out of the box and put together the Lindrond decor piece by screwing on the top to the base. I found four colors of yarn that I thought went well together. Cut the yarn to be double the diameter of the circle. Depending on how thick or thin your yarn is, you'll need a different amount of yarn cut. Just make sure that when you tie your yarn to the circle, the yarn creates a semicircle. There I have my yarn laid out. You'll see I have it grouped in groups of four, which is how we'll be tying it to the circle. 
Then I start tying the yarn to the circle. I grab four pieces of yarn and fold it in half. Loop it around the wire and pull it through. Keep grabbing four pieces of yarn at a time and looping it around the circle. I want to have it with black in the middle, then gray, yellow, and then white on the sides. Don't worry if the ends are uneven. We'll be giving it a trim later, so it's okay if it's totally different lengths right now. Now it's time for a trim. We'll be creating a V shape with the yarn. So cut the white yarn shortest and cut in it at an angle so it creates a V shape. The black yarn should be longest and the white should be shortest. Comb it out. Cut any stragglers that are sticking out. And there you have it. A beautiful boho decor piece for your home from Ikea. Alrighty, project number three is so easy. We'll be turning IKEA slut in placemats and giving it a boho makeover. They're only $2 each, but once we do our magic, it'll look way more expensive. The supplies you need are a roll of raffia, scissors, and hot glue. Cut the tag off the placemats. Then the time consuming part is cutting a crap ton of raffia at 3 inches long. It doesn't need to be exact, the rougher it is, the better. Once you have a ton of raffia cut, start hot gluing the raffia onto the edge of the placemats around half an inch at a time. You don't want it to look super perfect and lined up, so I just grab a bunch of raffia and press it onto the hot glue. Keep doing that around the perimeter of the placemat. Once you finish gluing the raffia along the perimeter of the placemat, flip it over and rough up the raffia a bit by scrunching it up and adding additional texture. Repeat all these steps for additional placemats and then you have your boho place setting. Save my favorite project for last. We'll be taking the IKEA flattest basket and adding some fun macrame to add lots of visual interest. I used a four millimeter thick macrame cord. Wrap your macrame cord around the top of the basket and cut a bit extra so you can tie a knot later. Then you'll want to measure and cut out 36 pieces of 30 inch long macrame cord. After that, you'll grab the first macrame cord that you cut that you had measured out around the basket and lay it out horizontally. Grab your 30 inch pieces of macrame and lay it out grouped in twos along the length of the laid out macrame cord. Tape the two ends of the long macrame cord down. It'll help with the next step. Next, you'll loop your folded macrame cords through the long tape down cord. Loop them through all the way down the cord, but keep them grouped in twos. Give it around a one inch space between each of the groups of two looped cords. It'll make sense as I go along. So group those two together and then you'll loop them and group those two together and keep doing it all the way down to the very end. Wrap your macrame around the basket like a hula skirt and tie a knot to keep it in place. We'll only be doing one type of knot throughout this entire DIY, so it'll be really easy. We'll be making a square knot. I'll insert a picture of how the knot works, so it'll be easier than explaining it. Follow the steps on this image to make your square knots. Go around 
the cords and create a square knot for all of them. Once you've completed that, you'll be creating a square knot again, but using two cords from one grouping and two cords from another grouping and doing it approximately one inch down from the knots above. This will create a square knot between each of the square knots that we created in the row above. And keep doing this around the entire row on all of the cords. Again, we'll do the exact same thing we did in the row above by grabbing two cords from one grouping and two cords from another grouping and knotting it approximately one inch down from the knots above. Again, keep doing this around the entire row of all of the cords. I wanted to do a wrapping to create a tassel to end it, but thought the macrame cord was too thick, so I grabbed a really thin cotton cord yarn in the same color. You can tell it's a lot thinner than the four millimeter thick macrame cord we're using. Take one end of the yarn and fold the end in half to around one inch of the wrap section. Hold the cotton string and yarn in place. Be sure to have a tail sticking out. Take the yarn and wrap eight times. Give it an inch and cut the yarn. Slip the yarn through the loop. Take the yarn at the top of the tassel and pull. The loop at the bottom will move and pull the end of the yarn upwards. Pull until the loop disappears. Then trim the two end yarns sticking out. The macrame cords will be all at different lengths at this point, so give them a trim so they're all even and not touching the table. Next, we'll be unraveling the tassels. Just pull them apart one by one and then give it a little brush with a comb. And do that for all the tassels that you've created. After brushing out the tassels, they'll become uneven again. So give all the tassels a trim at the bottom so they're all even and that's it. You've turned your plain IKEA basket into a beautiful boho basket. enjoyed those DIYs and that you can create these DIYs yourself, turn these plain IKEA products into these beautiful boho pieces for your home. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!